A video going viral on the left shows a mother being arrested by ICE, those cowboys you just heard of. It's a pretty upsetting video, and for that reason, it's getting wide play on the left, but a key detail is being left out. The woman in that video, Perla Morales Luna, isn't simply some random illegal alien pulled off the street by those cowboys. She's suspected by the feds of organizing a human trafficking operation. Mark Corian is executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies, and he joins us tonight. I don't know if I've seen uh, coverage as dishonest as this in a long time. I mean, this is the definition of propaganda. If you show that video and take out the context, it's a little bit like showing the man standing in front of the tank in Tiananmen Square without the tank. It totally changes the meaning of the image, correct? Of course, and that's kind of the point. I mean, this, is, this happened near the border, about 10 miles north of the border. There are illegal immigrants all over National City, California, where this happened. Right. The Border Patrol, if they wanted to randomly arrest illegal immigrants, which they don't waste their time with, uh, they wouldn't have done this. They knew that this woman was uh, involved in a smuggling ring, and they sought her out. They tried to get in touch with her before. She didn't respond. When Apparently, when they confronted her on the street, she tried to flee. She tried to get in another car and drive away. So that, um, you know, the, and she's resisting arrest, as you can see here. So, you know, the Border Patrol did its job here. Yes, it's an upsetting video because everybody's yelling and screaming, but, you know, this woman put herself in this situation by working with these criminal smuggling rings. Well, apparently, um, I mean, we, you know, I don't think that this is, the case has reached its conclusion, but I guess the point would be there was a reason for this. She wasn't right. just some right. hapless uh, victim on the street. So Mom's fault that she was then hauled off like that. She got uh, yeah. stuffed in the patty. You know, don't do the crime if you can't do the time, Juan. Do you want to be treated equally under the I, justice system? I you know, man or woman, uh, illegal, her, legal. Your Honor, you listen, her. I believe the ICE agents in this well, case. All Sorry, is an Juan. Allegation. This listen, is America still, you know. Juan, listen, no. oh, oh, no, she's no. going to go through due process. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't see her hurting this woman. I didn't see her throwing any elbows. I thought they were treating her fine. She was the one resisting. Oh, I, she was the one screaming and causing a scene. You know what? If the ICE agents show up, if, even if they show up for me, I'd go like this and get in the back of the wagon and have my lawyer deal with it. I found some interesting no, polling, you take Juan. take your phone out for sure. I know Juan phone. likes polling, and I found something that's going to blow his entire argument out of the water here. All right, go for Sanctuary it. City poll, and it's done by Greg's alma mater, Berkeley, so we know it's correct. 74% mm -hmm. of Californians oppose sanctuary cities. 65% of Hispanics in California oppose sanctuary cities, and 73% of Democrats in California 